Hello, and welcome to this experience of guided contemplation. Guided contemplation is a prayer based on the spiritual exercises of St. Ignatius of Loyola, often called Ignatian contemplation or imaginative prayer. This is a form of prayer where we picture ourselves at the scene of the gospel with Jesus, allowing us to connect ourselves with who Jesus is and to see who we are as we stand before God. This form of prayer may not be for everyone, but I would strongly encourage you to give it a go. Allow the Lord to lead you where you may not have been before and be open to this experience. Before we begin this prayer, we prepare ourselves. We compose ourselves as we find a comfortable position to be in for the next couple of minutes. Relax yourself. And now we are aware of our own breathing as we breathe in and out. We breathe in and out. We breathe in and out. And as we are aware of ourselves, we are aware of God's presence with us, now and always. And we ask for what we desire in this prayer. We ask for ourselves that through this prayer, we can have a deep interior knowledge and experience of the Lord, that we can be with Him more closely and love and serve Him in all things. We take some time to bring our own, our other desires before the Lord. And we enter into prayer, knowing that this prayer and all prayers are gifts from God. We are open to what we are to receive, knowing that all is grace. And so let us listen to the word of God from the Gospel according to Matthew. When evening came, Jesus was at the shore alone. But by this time, the boat, battered by the waves, was far from the land, for the wind was against them. And early in the morning, he came walking towards them on the lake. But when the disciples saw him walking on the lake, they were terrified, saying, It is a ghost! And they cried out in fear. But immediately Jesus spoke to them and said, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Peter answered him, Lord, if it is you, command me to come to you on the water. He said, Come. So Peter got out of the boat, started walking on the water, and came towards Jesus. But when he noticed the strong wind, he became frightened, and, beginning to sink, he cried out, Lord, save me! Jesus immediately reached out his hand and caught him, saying to him, You of little faith, why did you doubt? When they got into the boat, the wind ceased, and those in the boat worshipped him, saying, Truly, you are the Son of God. The Gospel of the Lord.
we pause to allow the words to sink deeper. We pay attention to our breathing. We make ourselves aware of where we are. And we close our eyes, if this helps. We will begin the guided contemplation now. Pause this video at any time if you feel that you need more time contemplating a word, a phrase, or an image. As we enter the scene, we see Jesus alone on the shore. What did Jesus look like? What kind of expression did he have? What was he doing on the shore? Spend some time with this image of Jesus by the shore. I imagine the shoreline and the waves. I hear the sound of the waves on the shore. I feel the strong wind, and I imagine the boat with the disciples being tossed about on this strong waves. I imagine the disciples in the boat. What are they doing? How do they feel about being in this boat battered by the wind and the waves? I think about where I am amongst the disciples. I imagine myself feeling the same things that they feel in this boat. I think about how I feel in this unstable, uncertain environment. And suddenly I hear one of them saying, it is a ghost. There is commotion. I hear some expressing fear, worry, anxiety. I think about what do I feel when I hear these words? It is a ghost. And then I hear a voice, a gentle, calm voice saying, Take heart, it is I. Do not be afraid. Am I still afraid now? Then I see Jesus walking on the waves in front of the boat. What does Jesus look like walking on the waves? I think about what I feel 
as I see Jesus in this tempest, in this storm, amidst the driving waves. And then I hear Peter asking to go out of the water. I think about how I feel. Do I want to go out to the water as well? And then I hear Jesus reply to Peter, Come. I see Peter getting out of the boat and walking on the water towards Jesus. What do I feel about that? Could I do the same as well? And then, as I continue to watch this scene, I see Peter beginning to sink. What happens then? I hear him crying out to Jesus to save him. And I see Jesus reaching out, chiding him, saying, You of little faith, why did you doubt? And immediately, the wind ceased. How do I feel about this? Am I amazed? I look around and everyone, everyone was amazed. Everyone began worshipping him. What am I doing? How do I express my amazement and reverence to Jesus? And I find myself with Jesus in the boat. He looks at me with calmness and love. And I hear an invitation to speak with him. What do I say to Jesus? How do I feel? as I say it. I spend some time in this conversation. I pause this video as I need more time. And as we wind these, this conversation with Jesus, we prepare to part, knowing that we will meet again soon. We slowly return to where we are with a sense of gratitude, remembering the graces received during this time of prayer. And we slowly and reverently pray the Lord's Prayer. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. 
Amen. And let us go in peace to be with the Lord and bring the Lord to others always.